Earthquakes. Earthquakes begin deep under the Earth's crust where tectonic plates, huge slabs of rock, meet. These plates move slowly, but when they get stuck, pressure builds up for years. Eventually, it snaps, and that sudden release of energy sends shockwaves through the ground. That's what makes buildings shake, roads crack, and sometimes even causes tsunamis. Aftershocks can keep shaking the area for hours or days. Droughts. Droughts don't start overnight. They build up when an area goes a long time without rain. The hot sun keeps evaporating water from soil, rivers, and plants, but nothing replaces it. Over weeks or months, lakes dry out, crops die, and animals struggle to find water. It's one of the slowest disasters, but it hits food, farming, and people the hardest. Tsunami. A tsunami starts when something huge disturbs the ocean floor, usually an underwater earthquake, volcano, or landslide. The movement pushes a massive amount of water upward. That wave spreads across the ocean at jet speed, over 800 kilometers per hour, but it's almost invisible in deep water. When it reaches the shallow coast, it rises into a giant wall of water that crashes into land, destroying everything in its path. Sometimes the ocean pulls back before a tsunami, a sign to run, not watch. Tornadoes. Tornadoes form when warm, humid air near the ground meets cold, dry air from above. The warm air shoots upward, the cold air sinks, and that difference makes the air start to spin. Inside a big storm cloud, that spinning gets tighter and faster, like water swirling down a drain. Once the funnel cloud touches the ground, that's a tornado. These things can last only a few minutes but destroy entire neighborhoods, flipping cars and ripping roofs right off. Floods. Floods happen when too much water builds up in one place. It can be from heavy rain, melting snow, or storms that dump tons of water at once. When rivers and drains can't handle it, the water spreads over land. Flash floods are the most dangerous. They come suddenly and with strong currents that can sweep away cars, people, and houses. Even when the water goes down, it leaves behind damage, mud, and diseases. Cyclones. Cyclones, hurricanes, and typhoons are the same storm, just different names depending on where they form. They start over warm ocean water, usually above 26 degrees Celsius. That heat makes air rise fast, creating low pressure underneath. Cooler air rushes in, starts spinning because of Earth's rotation, and forms a massive spiral storm. The stronger it gets, the more it sucks up energy from the ocean. When it finally hits land, it brings floods, winds stronger than 200 kilometers per hour, and massive waves that can flatten towns. Wildfire. Wildfires often start with something small, a lightning strike, a spark from power lines, or someone being careless with fire. But when it's hot, dry, and windy, that spark spreads insanely fast. Trees, grass, and even houses act like fuel. Once it grows, it can move faster than people can run, burning entire forests and forcing thousands to evacuate. The smoke can also travel hundreds of kilometers, affecting air quality far away. Landslide. Landslides start when gravity takes over. After heavy rain or an earthquake, the ground becomes weak and can't hold its weight anymore. When that happens, rocks, mud, and soil slide downhill fast. In seconds, a whole hillside can collapse, burying roads, houses, and anything below it. Steep slopes, deforestation, and loose soil make landslides more likely. Blizzard. Blizzards happen when moist air meets freezing air. The moisture turns into snow and powerful winds start blowing it around. A real blizzard has heavy snowfall, freezing temperatures, and winds so strong you can't see a few meters ahead. Roads close, power cuts happen, and people can get stuck indoors for days.